guys, it's Carrie here at Thousands of Roots. Uh, today has just been a typical day on the homestead. Not a whole lot happening. We are doing a few little projects, but other than that, just a normal day. Uh, started out with all the morning chores and milking and then on to homeschooling, dishes, um, got all the laundry done for the day and uh, worked on making some bread, getting that ready for supper tonight. Took care of uh, our little sprouts that we're growing. For our homeschooling, we just started something kind of new. It's where the children do what's called daily fives. And it's uh, five items that they're able to do pretty much totally independently. So that way, if I get busy working on the dishes or laundry, they've always got something they can be working on. So those daily fives are um, BBMMW, that's how you remember. Uh, BB is for Bible time and buddy time. MM is for memorization and math practice. And then the last one is writing. Most days the children are able to independently do five items of homeschooling without, without needing me for anything. That's been really helpful with homeschooling. And so now it's early afternoon. I'm getting ready to get a video up on YouTube for the day. But first I had to get outside. Sometimes the whole morning I'm inside and feel like I hardly even step outside. So got to walk out and see what Josh was working on with his chickens and uh, say hello to the new calf. She's doing great. Working on refreshing the nesting boxes, Josh? Yep. Cool. Sure is nice to have clean eggs coming in the house. <laughs> yep. Thanks for doing this. You're welcome. They like to scratch it all out of there, huh? Mm -hmm. So you have to do this fairly often. A few eggs for the day from this little group of girls. Thank you, girls. Nice big one there, huh? huh? Wonder who laid that one. Got any ideas? Um, maybe pie. Maybe right. pie? Yeah, right there. She she typically lays pretty large eggs. I think she's part black. She's giant, so that black and giants have large eggs. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for the big egg pie. <laughs> Just toss the chicken some of the Jerusalem artichokes. <laughs> nice little treat for them. Although I think they're probably getting the bugs more than anything. Though they, they do eat the Jerusalem artichokes too. Is that a fun treat? Enjoy! Lily girl, that's supposed to be for the chicken boxes. Silly girl. <laughs> She's an opportunist. <laughs> Hi girl. Is that a good little snack? That's for the chicken boxes. Keep those nesting boxes clean. Are you having a good day girl? You're a good mama. Josh just made the most of an opportunity here. He was able to get the little calf in this area. <laughs> mama doesn't like it. You'll be okay, Rosa. So he's going to try putting this little lead rope on her for the first time. And we'll see how she does. Yeah. She's still not super used to us being around her. Can I put this over your head? Hi, little one. It's okay. 
smell it? Good job, you got it on her. Okay, girl. It's okay. Come this way. Come Good job, Josh. Way. You're doing great with her. Come on. Come on. This way. Good. She's like, what is this thing? Come on. This you way. can do it, girl. Come on. You can do it. This way. This way. There we go. There Turn. we go. Turn. Good girl. Turn. Good girl. Going in circles. Come on. Oh, there's Mama. <laughs> Come on. This way. This way. Got her out all peacefully. Good job, Josh. <laughs> Was that fun working with the calf? Yep. Yeah, you're just a natural. You do really well with her. Good job. Thank you. She's back with her mama. Happy to be free. Hopefully soon she'll get to where she really enjoys being with people as well. Right now she prefers to be with her mama. Are you playing with Nathan? <laughs> How's she doing? Pretty good. It's a little chilly out today, huh? Mm -hmm. but she just wants to be outside. We had such warm weather for a while that she got used to being outside. Huh, Biddle? You just want to be out. Look at what's already popping up in January. Bulbs. <laughs> there are flower bulbs popping up all around our fruit trees already. Well, it seems too early. I hope they make it. With this beautiful weather we've been having, it's like everything thinks it's time to be spring. So last year, at the end of the year, for my birthday and Esther's birthday, we got some flower bulbs, uh, daffodils and tulips and some other random bulbs. That was kind of um, Esther and I's birthday gifts and got them in the ground just in time. I'm, I'm sure we still have quite a few days of winter ahead, so hopefully these bulbs make it. It just is such a, it's such a joy to see them popping up already though. Very good day. Oh wow. Look at this guys. What's going on here, Nader Bug? It's a pretty goose egg. Keeps me mind their eggs here. I guess the geese think it's spring too. They've been laying eggs for weeks now, huh? Mm -hmm. Everybody's confused. <laughs> We've been gathering some of the goose eggs and eating them. But do you think you might leave these ones in case she's ready to sit? Yep. Cool. It's not super early. Last year they started sitting in February, I think, right? Or did we hatch some? They hatched some out in February, huh? For yeah. early March. Sounds about right. So it's about time, I guess. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Gonna cover them back up. Yep. I always feel so much better after getting outside for a little bit. I just want to share a quote that we have this month for our character study. We use little character cards and each month we have a new character quality that we focus on with homeschooling. And I love the quote for this month. It's by Ann Voskamp. Don't let the everyday routines in life numb you out to the miracle of living each day. I love that. I'm the type of person that loves routine. I love things to go kind of smoothly through the day. I like plans. I like organization. And my goodness, our life here on the homestead has been the opposite of that. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, I do think that routines are important and we are still trying to develop routines on the homestead. I think that's a good thing. As long as we don't let those routines numb us out to the miracle of living each day. So that's what I'm trying to do today <laughs> as we go about just our typical day here on the homestead. I'm trying to uh, be aware of what's going on, all the life around me, and just the miracle that life is. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us here on the homestead today. Hope you have a wonderful day. Pay blessings over you and yours, and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. Got some eggs. More eggs, yay. Thank you, Josh. Chickens are starting to pick up a little bit, huh? Yep. That's yeah, fun. Worms burp. Yeah, it's almost been like a little fake spring we've been having, huh? Mm -hmm.